I'm afraid it's bad news, Marcus. Admiral Anderson's attempts to confirm the safety of the wormhole heading back towards Earth have been a failure. She deployed two probes. Both were lost. The scout ship she launched has not been heard from since. I fear there must be trouble on the other side. We have to find out what's going on at home. We can't sit here twiddling our thumbs, damn it. Rob, I'm heading back. Easy, Marcus. You're right. We have to act, but you're talking about gambling with the ship and the lives of your crew. There must be another solution. It's the only way, and you know that. If this is the work of the Mechanoids, the Angel Wing is the only ship that stands a chance. I'll report back with everything we discover. Well, I suppose you're right. It hurts to see you taking a risk like this, but given the circumstances, I can't refuse permission. Bring us news from home. May fortune guide your journey. God, what the hell is that? It appears to be a physical body similar to the one we saw at the Kasaki Beta. It is a transportation medium for the aliens. So it's a spaceship. How many of those mechanoids can it carry? I do not know. Maybe tens of thousands. Maybe just one. Where are they now? I do not detect their presence up here. They are probably on Earth within the computer systems and the internet. They did not hide their transport behind the moon without purpose. What is the status of our space stations and ships? They are almost certainly under mechanoid control. We have not detected a single radio transmission. I fear all the crews were killed just like those at the Shokenja bases. I suspect that Admiral Anderson's scouts also ran into the cleanup. On Earth, however, everything seems to be normal. We've been monitoring the news. There's not a single word about the events up here. It is as if they have not even realized that everyone is dead. I don't understand. If they've killed everyone up here, why are they hiding from the people of Earth? What are they doing down there? To obtain information about this, I will have to travel to Earth itself. There is an operative relay station here. I can reach the headquarters of my old company using one of its encoded channels. From there, I can travel anywhere on Earth. 
I only need 10 minutes, then I will return. We have to find out what's going on. Go and take a look around, Angel. The relay station needs to remain intact so that I can return. Take good care of it, Captain. While you're waiting, do not approach the Black Moon and under no circumstances open fire on the Mechaloids. Dr. Veltman, what are your thoughts on Angel? Her personality is very unusual. Do you think we can trust her? I have conducted many conversations with her. The influences of a traditional oriental upbringing which encourages a secondary, subservient role for women can be felt in her, but she has a superior and independent side to her character. She's prepared to seize the initiative on occasions and sometimes she displays a kind of, how should I put this, a sort of mild arrogance. She has, without a doubt, a highly developed psyche. Her reactions are much faster and far more sophisticated than one would expect from an AI. However, this is all speculation based upon some rather nebulous theories. You didn't answer my question, Dr. Veltman. Can we trust her? I fear we have no other choice. In our current predicament, she is the only hope we have. It is possible that she is concealing something. AIs are just as capable as humans of hiding their true motivations when it proves expedient. Your suspicions should be tempered by the fact that she has broken corporate loyalty by joining us and, as yet, she has done nothing but assist us. However risky it may be, my view is that we must trust her until she gives us reason to feel otherwise. I see. Another question. Red alert! Earth ships are approaching. Yes, They're headed towards the relay station. And sir, here is the whiskers. The Noah's Lost Scout? Hail them. They're not responding, sir. They're targeting us. The mechanoids have got them. We have no choice but to fight them. They must have discovered Angel and they're trying to stop her coming back. We must stop them, Captain. shooting at us with. The energy tracers indicate a traditional laser cannon, but it has been charged far beyond standard safety thresholds. The mechanoids must have overridden the ship's failsafes. It won't cope with the strain for much longer. Warning. Incoming missile. Sir, the docking lights of the razor appear to be blinking in a pattern. Incoming missile. It's an SOS signal. Someone on board must still be alive. Evacuated. Sir, should we deploy our commandos? It might be a trap.
Task complete. Yes, sir. Find another radio transmitter and fast. Affirmative. Commandos dispatched. Sir, we're picking up a radio transmission. The quality is very poor, but I think it's a distress signal. I'll pipe it through the speakers. I repeat, this is the North Star Research Show. Requesting immediate assistance. North Star Base, this is the cruiser Angel Wing. We can hear you. Mondo, thank God. Please help us. We're stuck here on the station. Our mainframe has been infected. We haven't been able to reach anyone. It's like the whole world has gone deaf. Don't panic, North Star. We'll get you to safety. Before we do, we need a high-performance radio transmitter. Do you have one on the base? Of course we do, but it's connected to the computer network. We were using it to monitor signals from the Black Moon. If we switch it back on, they'll send another virus into our system. Don't worry about that. You'll be long gone by then. I'll transmit the radio frequency and the target. Aim the dish towards Earth. We're awaiting an important message. The radio has been calibrated. We can enable it via remote control. With the padding on the shuttle. The ultimate defense systems are blocking our way! Clear the path! Corpses everywhere! Killed by decompression! We found a survivor! Heading back! Our commandos are returning. Thank you, sir. We're extremely grateful. The last few days have been a waking nightmare. I thought we were all going to die. Commander, Captain, have we returned. have two minutes left before Angel returns. Shall we open the channel? I strongly advise against it. The viruses entering the system will be very aggressive. Where are they coming from? You mentioned the Black Moon. We don't know much more about it. It appeared behind our moon a few weeks ago. It, it glowed at first, but the light soon faded. Calculating its mass proved impossible, but it didn't alter the moon's orbit or tidal variances on Earth, so the mass must be significantly less than one would expect from a heavenly body of that size. Did you try to establish contact with it? Yes. That was when we received the virus that knocked out the majority of our systems. Fortunately, it infected an ancillary network first, so we had time to disable everything else and prevent it from spreading. Thank you, sir. I thought I was gonna die in there. I'm glad we found you. What happened? Don't know, sir. The mainframe was infected by some kind of battle virus or something. It released the airlocks. I was on spooge duty on one of the SEAL storage bays. That's how I survived. The only system I could access was a marker light. The virus locked out everything else. Captain, the time has come. Shall we open the channel? Do it. Radio enabled. We're not picking up any signals. Sir, a mechanoid is approaching. It's huge. It is 34 kilometers away and closing on us fast. Very fast. Come on, Angel. She should already be here. Ten minutes have passed. There's no sign of her. Has she been captured? Did she lie to us? The mechanoid is almost upon us! Oh 
my god! We can't wait any longer. We must retreat. Don't touch a thing. Don't even move. Let me handle them. Excuse me for being so late. I was held up. We can go now. 